This is going to be a really quick lesson on how to add a, um, a mobile dial button on your web pages so that when you bring up a mobile site on your uh, phone, it, it offers to, to dial right on the screen. Let me show you how that looks. Here's a good example of one here. Um, this particular button, you can see it across the bottom and it's bright green. It's got the little phone icon and it says call now. See, and you can see it doesn't go away. It stays on that page no matter what, which is fantastic because it makes it really easy for people with a mobile phone to actually dial because if they hit that button, it offers to call which makes it easy because they don't have to write down the phone number or remember the phone number in order to make a call. So I'm going to show you really quick how to, to create one of those. Uh, I'm going to use a site that I've already got set up here, but I'm going to add this feature to that site, uh, this wyomingagent.org. Uh, and so I'm going to go to the plugins really quick, and I'm going to make sure that I have all the plugins that I need in order to make this work. So um, I'm going to go straight down the list here. The first one that we're going to have to have is a Bootstrap 3 Short Codes by Michael Delaney. We're going to want to have that. Um, another one that we're going to want to have is WordPress Twitter Bootstrap CSS by iControlWP. Um, and then the other one that we're going to want to have is called... Um, it is called, oh, it's not on this list yet because I haven't downloaded it. So let me go get it really quick. Um, this is, I'm going to go add new and I'm going to search for this plugin, which is called WP Mobile Detect. And um, it's kind of interesting that it didn't just show it up at the top of the list. Anyway, here it is here. It's by Jesse Friedman. So I'm going to install this one really quick. I'm going to activate it. All right, so now that one is is installed and activated. Those are the different plugins that we need. Now, when you do Twitter Bootstrap, it's going to add it to the left side over here, and you need to click on it once, and you need to go into uh, go to settings here, and then you need to um, um, choose your preferred Bootstrap. So it'll be on none at the first, and then you've got to put it on one. Otherwise, the Bootstrap's not going to do anything. So you select that, hit Save All Changes, and then uh, Bootstrap will work. And what Bootstrap is, is it's a set of CSS files that will um, allow you to change things about your web page. So that's um, the, the, the basic setup. Then what you have to have is you have to have a document. I'm going to go uh, to TextMate, which is my preferred text uh, um file and I'm going to go look for this document that I created um, and I'm going to give you this document also. This has the short codes already in it so that it's all set to go. So what you do is you take this code right here, this phone code, and between these two phone markers, it's got everything including the phone number. So you're going to want to change this phone number to the correct phone number. And then you're going to want to copy that. And then you're going to want to go paste that in back at your website. So um, there's also CSS that has to be pasted in. So let's start with the CSS. I'm going to go grab this CSS code right here. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go back to my web page here. And under theme options, for this particular theme, I can go to main settings and I sh should be able to get to the CSS. Um, I believe it's under advanced settings here. Yep, here's the CSS. So I'm going to add that extra CSS code to it here. So this is what I've added, which was um, uh, this floating block and button text. I don't really want to explain it too much, but I'm setting my font size. I've set this particular one at 28. Um, I've told it that the position for this button is fixed at the bottom. So that will keep it at the very bottom every time, even if somebody scrolls it. So I'm going to save that change. Now I'm going to go back up. The, the trick to this is, is that you've got to put your code somewhere. Um, I'm using this virtue theme. And one of the nice things is, is that they have this site-wide after header short code where I can add a short code right here. And so I'm going to go back and get that short code. That's this right here. Now this short code only appears if it recognizes that it's on a phone. That's why it says phone start, start and phone stop here is because it's only valid if, if there is a phone involved. So if you add that and save changes and you've got that CSS in um, and you've got the uh, bootstrap in there, just like that, the phone button is going to work. So that phone button is in place now and um, it should work. So let's go back to my phone really quick and we'll try it. So I'm going to bring up yagent.org and see if it worked. Mm. 
me pause the video while I get it to the screen. So as I said, just like that, that button is in place. Now you can see I didn't put any text on this button and you can go back and add text to it. Um, this is one of the reasons that I like this particular way to do this code is that um, I can put the text in or leave the text out. I can also adjust the size of the text. I can pick it uh, through the CSS. It said it was a 20 point and if I wanted to make it a little bit bigger, I could. So you can see in here, that's right here. It says 28 picks. Um, I could make that 30 picks and it would make it a little, little bit larger. Down here, here's my button and um, I didn't put any verbiage in, but um, I do have the same exact thing up here with the words click to call um, as part of it. So I'm going to just copy that click to call. Um, I will put it down here where it would go, which is between the two spans right there. And then I can copy that and I can go plug that back in on my, um, my page here. Instead of the short code that I have here, I'm going to take all that out, hit paste, paste that in with just the, the words click to call. Um, then I can go refresh that on my phone and we should see that change. So let me do a refresh here. And there you go. See the words click to call. So I really like this method. There is a simpler way to do it and I'm going to show you that now. So the other way to do this is that there are plugins already available that will do it, just not with quite the diversity. There's this call now button, which I don't like. It makes a little round button. Uh, it might be okay, but to me, it, it's, it's not as blaring and I want something in blaring. My favorite is this really simple click to call bar. So I, I can install that. I'm going to go ahead and do an install. I'm going to activate it. And then I actually get settings for this. So I'm going to go over here to settings. Under uh, settings, I can go in, I can say enable the click to call button. I can choose what verbiage I want to have. So in this case, I'm going to use click to call again. And then I can put a phone number in. Then I can pick the text color, which I, I'm going to just leave as white. And then I can collect, um, select the uh, green that I want to use for my call button. I can hit save changes and now that is the easier way to do it. Again, the reason I don't like it is because you have no control over the font, the size of the button or anything like that. But um, let me show it to you on the phone really quick and you can see why. All right, so I'm going to do a refresh on this one and you can see there's the button. Not as nice of a button, uh, but it works. I mean, it's definitely you know, does the same exact thing. You can see it's kind of offset on this one. It kind of flawed itself a little bit. I have no idea why, but um, that, uh, you know, that's the other way to do it is with that simple plugin. But again, I prefer my method with a little bit of CSS and, and the, uh, the, the uh, little, little bit of code, which I'm including with this video. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned from it. Take care.